Hi, this is Eric Smith. Time to do another quick look video, and I thought I would do it from Proverbs chapter 25, verse 26, and the Word of God reads this way. A righteous man who falters before the wicked is like a murky spring and a polluted well. It's a very interesting verse in Proverbs. It says, a righteous man. Now, we want to start off by saying right off the bat that we are not righteous in our own ability. So when it says a righteous man, it talks about a believer who's been imputed the righteousness of God. He's actually living a life based on God's laws and commandments because he loves God, he fears God, and God is moving him to do the right thing. That's why when it says a righteous man, it is a person that is actually living a life based on the righteousness of God. And that's based on the truth of God's word. So it says, a righteous man who falters. Now, this means to stumble, to fall, to actually get caught up in something. Um, he just went a particular way that he shouldn't have went. And it says, a righteous man who falters before the wicked. Now, notice he's faltering, which means he's actually committing sin. But he's not doing it in secret. He's doing it before the wicked. And the wicked is anybody that's an unbeliever, anybody that's unsaved. I know we don't want to consider unbelievers wicked all the time because they might not outwardly be doing something that is extremely wicked, like murder, stealing, um, lying, um, you know, even committing adultery. But they're still wicked because they're sinners and they have a sinful nature. And so they're categorized as the wicked. So we have the contrast here. It's a righteous man who sins or falters before the wicked or the unbeliever. And the second part of this verse says, is like a murky spring and a polluted well. Notice the comparison that this uh, proverb, this verse in Proverbs is doing. It's saying a righteous man, a believer who falters or sins before the wicked is like a murky spring and a polluted well. Well, spring is full of water. So is a well. If the spring is murky, that means that water is not pure. It's dirty. And that well, if it's polluted, means that water is not pure. It has all kinds of stuff floating in it. It could be dirt, grime, anything. It's something that you couldn't wash with. It's something that you couldn't drink. It's contaminated. Dear Christian, what is this proverb, this verse in Proverbs 25 telling us? It's telling us if you're a believer and you sin before the unbeliever, what you're doing is you're being a bad testimony. You should be like pure water. Now this doesn't mean that you're going to be sinless, but you should be blameless. You should be consistent in your walk of righteousness. When you're not, and the wicked sees it, even though they may mock your faith and mock your righteousness, they actually expect it because they see you continually doing it. When you fall, what you do is you pollute your testimony. You pollute the faith. That's why it's important as believers in Jesus Christ that we walk in the Spirit. And then when we do falter, we need to repent to the Lord for it, um, repent to the Lord of it, and we need to actually ask forgiveness from somebody that if we've offended them. We need to be a good testimony, and this Proverbs verse is talking about that. So this is Proverbs chapter 25, verse 26. I just wanted to do a quick look to encourage you, Christian, and also to remind you, Christian, that though you may falter and though you may sin, you need to repent of that and you need to be consistent about not doing it going forward. You need to be blameless before the unsaved world. They see you, they watch you, and your testimony is important. Yes, your testimony of how you walk your life is not going to save anybody. The gospel saves. But they need to see that your gospel message lines up with your life. And if you're faltering, particularly if you're doing it consistently, then it won't. As always, if the videos on this channel have encouraged your Christian walk and edified you in any way whatsoever, but you have not subscribed to my channel yet, and you want to, hit the button. If you want to leave any comments, please do so, but please don't be snarky. Please do not be profane. We want to be Christ-like in, um, in everything we say and do as Christians. Sorry, a little tongue-tied. And until we do another quick look, remember, when you live and walk your Christian life, 
You're not going to be perfect. And this verse is not saying that you need to be perfect, but you need to be consistent. If you're stumbling and falling and sinning on a consistent basis, that's kind of scary. We shouldn't be doing that. And let me tell you something. The unbeliever, the wicked world, is watching. Even though they may mock you, and even though they may persecute you, they shouldn't mock and persecute you because you're sinning. They need to mock and persecute you because you're being righteous and they're being convicted of it. And you should always have a good testimony of that. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And God bless.